Hello, this is Solar PVTV from InterSolar Europe 2016 from Munich. And now we are with um, Alexis Isaharov, who is uh, one of the solar pioneers coming from the financial industry, then through the project development industry. And now he's um, working very closely with the royal family in Malaysia. And he's uh, also CEO of the royal family company, Anta Renewables. Uh, so, Alexis, what brings you here to InterSolar Action? Well, uh, we still believe that Munich is a key fair for all of us. Mm -hmm. Not only for the network, it's just the know-how in Europe is key for develop solar all over the world. So still we have a lot of partners. We are very focused in, in Asia, but we need uh, the partners from Europe to build our projects and to help us finance in some cases. So actually we try always to own and operate our assets. So we get uh, a lot of know-how and uh, we meet with our partners and go over our portfolio. And, uh, and well, mainly that's the, 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 the main reason. So recently you were traveling uh, to different countries, to Malaysia, to Philippines, to China. Uh, also we have quite a great insight about Argentina and uh, the countries in the Latin American uh, markets. So could you give us an update? Because InterSolar is not only about Europe, it's also about international business. And uh, as we are focused on emerging markets, I would like to give us, you know, and to, to Solar PV TV viewers a short overview what's happening, what is the most exciting in these regions? Uh, well, uh, I'm originally from Argentina, so that's, uh, I can give you an insight, Argentina is kind of mainstream, it's not going at the speed that everybody expected, but uh, essentially in the next six to seven months you will see a very interesting movement. Mm -hmm. Uh, Argentina is expected to have in the next 10 years around 6 gigawatts in solar. So it's a very, very, very interesting market. Uh, it match in a way with Iran that is becoming a very mainstream market very soon. And uh, we like uh, to think that between Iran and Argentina and uh, some other markets like Philippines, you can definitely be talking about 20 gigawatts. In the Southeast Asia, we have Indonesia also coming mainstream. They are approving a new law. Philippines, we are waiting the third round. Colombia is starting to move. So we, we are seeing that Colombia will have a, an interesting pipeline. Mm -hmm. Cuba also, they are starting now. Mm -hmm. The good thing about Cuba or El Salvador is that you can have PPA in dollars. So, so that is a very, very important thing for, for investors. And in the rest of Latin America, you have some move. Well, you have definitely Bolivia is also doing a tender. And I would say Africa, for sure. You have a lot of movement on West Africa. Rwanda is taking the lead in, in many aspects in Africa. Uh, Middle East is also, uh, Saudi Arabia, we expect from there uh, the majority of the growth in the next coming years. Mm -hmm. Dubai definitely is, is take, has, has taken the lead. So more or less, that would be a yeah, short, short idea about emerging markets and probably a, I could talk about Sri Lanka and some other markets, but the main ones, I just give you a quick. What about Malaysia? Well, uh, Malaysia is where I'm based. Is uh, definitely a very interesting case because Malaysia, they they really want to move things forward. They have a land constraint issue because it's not easy to find land. Ah. So so so, most of the projects have been delayed about because of this reason. Uh, electricity is very low. So when you go to a market that the electricity is so low, uh, the economics of the project is, they are tough. So these kind of markets take a little bit more of time. So Malaysia, but now we are seeing that finally there was structure and auction system, a bidding process, so it's not so much depending on the current electricity price. So that it will be, we'll be seeing around 300 megawatt a year. And uh, we will be seeing also installments, solar installments on water, mm -hmm. on dams. So basically you solve one of the main issues that is the land problem if you install on water. And um, yes, with Mal Malaysia, we think that there will be a, and definitely Malaysia will be a rooftop place. And uh, these kind of areas where you have not such m massive pieces of land availability or the land is quite expensive like Japan, but you will see that in the middle to long term, they, all of them going through the rooftop. So rooftop will be a 
tremendous market there. And being a Malaysian manufacturing country, it makes a lot of sense. And what about um, the uh, full solutions, including the solar plus storage? Do you see also opportunity in these countries? Yes, definitely. Uh, the good thing about the new countries is that they, they can leapfrog on, on the previous strategies that most of the countries started with solar, with feeding tariff, and now storage is coming mainstream and, and, and countries like UK. And in these new countries you can package a solution and uh, you can play both because now storage is a surprise that is affordable. If you compare to diesel generation, that in Southeast Asia you have a lot of diesel generation, with combined solar with storage is a very, very, very financial viable solution. So we believe that uh, storage during the next two to three years in emerging markets will be packaged together. And in five years, we will see that all over the world practically, because it's where we are hitting a very, very low price by kilowatt hour. So um, how did you start your, let's say, uh, cooperation with the royal family uh, in Malaysia? And uh, what is their attitude towards clean energies? Well, they are extremely committed. And uh, well, we, they were looking for a good team of people uh, to, to help them in move forward all their initiatives on renewable energy like storage, like solar and uh, different other different projects, biomass. And well, our path cross and uh, they like me, I like them and uh, we started to work together since two years ago. And uh, we have been uh, pushing forward projects in Malaysia mainly. We are going on Philippines and uh, Indonesia. Uh, India, Sri Lanka, and uh, we are starting story solutions that we will apply in Malaysia and in some new markets. And uh, we are also starting biomass and, and hydro projects and uh, those kind of, but our focus is mainly in solar. Okay, um, Alexis, as you are one of the biggest, most famous networkers in the industry, I would like to ask you, because today in the, our Solar Business Club panel discussion, we come up with, uh, let's say, idea that uh, the most important besides all this business a relationship is age to age, yeah? human to human. Could you comment on that? And how important it is in the solar industry? Uh, well, it's essential because solar is a new industry. We, we have seen a lot of companies going up, going down, a lot of people coming in, coming out. And uh, we deal with different cultures in parallel all the time. So you need to be very respectful with the traditions of each of the country. You need to work with local partners. And uh, definitely the human component is essential because you base your relationships on trust. Uh, solar works in a way that you need, everybody needs to trust everybody uh, along the chain from the developer to the financier to the construction company to the final owner uh, is, uh, is very important. So I would say that the, the relationship between the parties is very good. So uh, what you try to do is to have a track record and, uh, on, and with the people that you went through all the path keep them doing business. And that's why one of the reasons coming back to your first question that we are in the solar because we have a good track record with, with many of the people here. Okay, thank you so much Alexis and uh, thanks for your interesting uh, feedback and also information about the emerging countries. And that was Solar PBTV together with Alexis Zaharov uh, working closely with the royal family in Malaysia, one of the solar pioneers and big fan of everything what is solar networking. Thanks for watching.